Well, this week I'm taking you to the Goodwood Estates. This is a trip I took last year. It's a little bit more vlog style, not as much golf, but there are some interesting things that happened, including I tried some of the best fish and chips in the world. I also tried a drink called Bovril, which let me just say was interesting. And we did get to play a little bit of golf on the estates, but enjoy my tour of the property and you're gonna find out a lot more about what Goodwood and Chichester is all about. Enjoy. In order to get to golf at Goodwood, you've got to come to Chichester. And my guide Welcome was Eddie. Welcome to Chichester, Gabe. <laughs> it's good to be here, Eddie. <laughs> Eddie Bullock is a legend in the golf club industry in the United Kingdom, and he is the president at Golf at Goodwood. Eddie brought me to this wonderful cathedral in Chichester, and Chichester actually is a city by definition because of this cathedral. That is the criteria in the United Kingdom I learned. Now the Goodwood Estate is owned by the Duke of Richmond. It's over 18 square miles of property, which includes this estate you see here. Also the Rolls-Royce factory, which has a 99 year lease sits on the property and other things like an auto race course, a horse race course, farms, restaurants, hotels, and of course, golf at Goodwood, all are on this property. So this is all packed, so you can see the original first, first stand, Yeah. all right, second stand, and then the sort of cantilever and all the corporates and everything else. Around here, but it always finishes here, right in front of you over to your left-hand side here. Wow, so yeah. it's not like a regular no. circular race no, track. No, not at all. This is totally different. Is, it, is there a name for this type of a race? Unique. Well, it's flat racing, so there's flat more than that. Interesting. For all you auto aficionados, you'll probably know or have heard of the Goodwood Festival of Speed, and it happens right here at the Goodwood Estate. The property is literally stocked full of gems, including this World War I era Spitfire that you can find at the airport. So this is the Farmer's Butcher Chef. This is the best restaurant on the estate, arguably. Every produce is taken from the estate. Yes, you heard that right. Meat, dairy, and vegetables are all grown at the Goodwood Estate, and you can actually have them served to you right here. How cool is that? The next stop on our whirlwind tour was the golf course, and it starts with the practice facility, some of the nicest I've ever seen. Now, Golf at Goodwood is actually located at the former kennels of the property. These were the dog kennels, and they've tapped into that history by creating a dog membership. The bowls you see here behind Eddie are the members' dog bowls. How cool is that? Golf is delivered the same way far too often. That's right. We call it the twist. You know, what is, what is the Goodwood twist? Literally everything about the golf experience here is unique, from a pro shop with a fireplace and a sitting area, to golf carts like you've never seen before. Here are the, uh, the iconic Woody buggies, based on a vehicle design in 1927 by the then Duke of Richmond called the Bracken Van. And when Golf of Good was, was formed in 2006, the Duke, the exist, current Duke, designed these problem with clubs is the words G-O-L-F. Because mm. people think they have to be golf clubs. Right. They have to do it the golf way, but it's not. Right. Clubs are communities. We've got on the tour now of the Downs course. Okay. And this the is a, uh, we're, on the, we're in the woody buggies. <laughs> um, it's a par three start, very similar to um, a number of other famous golf courses throughout the country, but uh, I'm unique. What was the tradition behind the part three start? Part three start, uh, well, it was a, the, the, the design at, at that time, but the thought was uh, Royal Lytham St. Anne's, which started on a part three as well as everything else, and uh, it was just to do things different, not be similar to everybody else, yeah. and uh, that's what we do at Goodwood. So as you can see, it was a very cold and windy day here at Goodwood. So Eddie brought me to the halfway house to try something that just might warm me up. Uh, this is the halfway house. This is Ken who looks Hi. after us with our hospitality. And how long have you been here now? 29 years. 20 the last month. October. 29 years. October. Wow. It only seems like yesterday. <laughs> An array of celebrities that uh, Ken has met over the years. <laughs> Everybody from there, from Justin Rose, Ian Poulter, uh, Damon Hill. More so. Got the docks, so these are our members. Remember, I told you about them? Yeah, yeah so come down here. You know this guy? 
Look. Ollie. Yeah, it's Ollie. Ollie. Okay. So the halfway house has been voted in the top 10 best halfway houses in the British Isles. Wow. So they say it's something. Yeah. Wow. Okay, Tia Pepe, everybody laughs at this, but it's one of those it's one of those wacky things we do here in What's England. Tia Pepe? Tia Pepe sherry. It's a sherry. Dry sherry. Oh my goodness. Dry is sherry. it a coffee? Is that what we're doing? No, we no no no, no, no. this is <laughs> It's a um it's a real good traditional he drink. At me. Yeah, he, he at did. Me. <laughs> <laughs> it's bovril. 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 It's um, made of yeast and all sorts of things. Beef, and it can and beef, ge beef, beef, yeast. Yeah. Beef and yeast. Yeah. Cheers. No, don't. Um, I really like to see someone's don't. expression. Might have tried it. <laughs> I've tried some strange <laughs> things the in the world. Expression is time. a good thing. All right. We just these are our cultures, things that we do. Do you here. do it in like a shot or? No, you no, 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 no. It's a no, sipper. No, no, sipper. It's, <laughs> gonna, it's gonna be hot. Cheers, everybody. It's like a like a beef broth. Well, yeah, you exactly yeah. what However you want to yeah. try it. Yeah. yeah. Oh, it's interesting. Uh, okay. And then, but you got a little kick of the sherry in there. Yeah. Almost a little vinegary. Well, well which sherry is in actual <laughs> fact. Yeah. It's part yeah. of it. It's, yeah. Uh, yeah. But salty. I don't think I've ever yeah. had a salty uh -huh. drink. Well, it's good for you. Yeah. Puts hairs on your chest. Yeah. The best honey in Sussex. So, this is actually in all my presentations, I show these honeybees and talk about something unique and different that a golf course d can do. And uh, here we are, finally made it to them. Yeah. <laughs> They're not buzzing around, it's a little cold out right now, but that's the hive, that's for that's their home. Then we took it to the golf course. Uh, just like playing at Sunningdale, I'm walking up to the first hole of play here. Got a nice little birdie putt. No. Shave it. Oh, that's going a little left, <laughs> sweetie. Ooh. What about a reload? Uh, yeah. Hey, Gabe. Absolutely. S same, sh same type of shot, but just about 100 yards <laughs> to the right. Is that all? Yeah. yeah. It was the negative cool. spot. You know, I came up to the tee with an extra ball. And that's what cool. happens. <laughs> Beautiful hole, though. Now, to be honest, for a Florida boy like me, it was a little bit cold out there, so we certainly did not play all 18, but I got to see what an incredible golf course Goodwood truly has. So this is the famous Harry's of Chichester, Fish and Chips, we're about to partake. It's like communion, holy communion. These are the best fish and chips in the south of England. They're from Harry's. They are fresh. We have in the haddock, freshly cut Sussex potatoes with marifat mushy peas. And Gabe has gone adventurous and had pineapple fritters. <laughs> and we've got a nice bottle especially of Petit Chablis to have with our fish and chips. Very uh, elegant. Yes, classy. Just, uh, this is classy this is classy. fish and chips. Yes, they were that good. We ended the night with a little history lesson from the man himself. These are hugely famous. Uh, so I'm gonna show you, uh, Gabe, uh, a Sandy Andy, a Wilson Sandy Andy. And this is a rare, this is like, Amazingly rare. This is a Johnny Revolta Stag Sand Iron, one of the originals. And you'll see that the um, the punch faces, which uh, oh, yeah. designates the the uh, how early this was, and also see the the shaft. The, sh the shaft is an enamel sh shaft, and so it was between the times that it was going from hickory to steel. So underneath this is the steel, and people weren't accepting uh, steel shafts. So. They disguised it with a, uh, an enamel background, wow. and there's beautiful leather grip. Wow. So anybody who wants to make me an offer starting at around sort of uh, ten thousand pounds, they can have it. Okay. Where's so Christie's? This is, when we this is very special. <laughs> and the, the the person that designed this this uh, designed this head was Gene Sarazen. Okay.
Okay, wow. that was the original design by Jean mm -hmm. Sarah. Mm -hmm. And this then was taken on board, and this is more modern, so we're going back to the sort of uh, 60s, 70s here with the Sandy Andy Wilson. So, uh, <laughs> not dissimilar, but there you can see there, it became the straight lines then. So, right. that was very special. So that gives you an introduction into the Sand Islands and you're here in Chichester, West <laughs> Sussex, England.